so in logic, so the, the first real logician who, who attempted to study logic was Aristotle. And if you've taken a course from me, you know I'm a, a big admirer of Aristotle. He's seriously underestimated. The reason he's underestimated is because about he, he lived about, uh, say, 350 BC, the time of Alexander the Great. He was Alexander the Great's tutor. The single thing you want to carry away from Aristotle, which is extremely relevant for AI, is he <coughs> noticed that there was two kinds of logic. And, uh, there's what we call formal logic. Nowadays, it's called symbolic logic. And that's the stuff <coughs> that um, you, you probably study. P implies Q, not X, for all X exists. Well, it was cruder then, but it was formal logic. Uh, but he also studied, now, there isn't a standard name for the other. I'll call it informal but that's not really a standard name. Uh, I sort of like heuristic. It's not standard, but that's the one I'll tend to use, heuristic logic. Uh, there's another one is uh, inductive. As opposed to deductive. Now, what is the difference here? Now, formal logic, which is probably what you're most uh, familiar with, which is very important to AI, uh, involves things like, I'll, I'll give an example in there, sort of uh, old-fashioned notation. All Greeks are mortal. Socrates is Greek, therefore Socrates is Greek. Now, in, in Aristotle's day, they didn't have an algebra, any sort of algebraic notation, either for math or for logic. They used natural language. But even though they're using natural language, which in, in general is informal, in in this, these sort of reasonings, these are strictly formal reasonings. And what that means is, if you're absolutely certain of this, and you're absolutely certain of this, then you can be absolutely certain of this. Now, there's always people tell you nothing is certain, but this is conditional. This is assuming you're cer a certain of these two, then you can be certain of this one. <coughs> so that's the way formal logic works. That's also the way that things like high school algebra and uh, calculus work. That, uh, you know, if you have a, a, a formula and all the preconditions are, you're sure the preconditions are satisfied, then you could be, have complete confidence in the result of the formula. Now, the crucial thing, and especially for AI, is that, <coughs> Socrates, uh, sorry, that Aristotle recognized that formal logic is it's extremely useful, but it's a very limited application. Uh, and in fact, if you look at speeches, and this is true nowadays, if you look at <coughs> Take speeches from the U.S. Senate about health care or whatever. They're, they are using logical rules, but they're not, for the most part, not formal. So for those who <coughs> just walked in, I was explaining. I actually do this for summary. So, yeah. uh, logic, as first studied by Aristotle, uh, he divided it into formal logic in which you do certainties and informal logic in which you basically make guesses. Okay. <coughs> Uh, so this, the, the suppression of, of rhetoric uh, came back to haunt uh, for the engineering establishment because uh, well, it turns out you can't do AI based on formal logic alone. You can do a lot based on formal logic and we'll, we'll study a, a fair amount of uh, techniques that are based on formal logic in the sense that the results are certain. But it turned out you can't. You can't do AI just uh, on formal logic. You have to be able to make guesses, and you have to study uh, the heuristic. Or, in fact, the, the most important word in all of AI is heuristic. Now, in the modern sense, in the modern AI sense, it's a heuristic is an algorithm or procedure uh, that performs well, but is not necessarily reliable. So in that sense, Aristotle and the Greeks discovered the most important concept in AI which is that of heuristic. And <coughs> if you think about it, there's plenty of examples of AI. I mentioned that this camera has face recognition. Well, it's not 100% reliable. It can be, it can be fooled. Now normally, you see, in, in most of your technical training where you're studying algorithms and so on, 
a computer program that's not reliable is said to be incorrect and is, has to be subject to debugging before it's correct. But it's, it's really important in AI to understand that this is, you know, if you can get, if your heuristic does work 100% of the time and is reliable, that's great. Then you don't call it a heuristic, you call it an algorithm. Uh, but it's really important to understand that a lot of AI is just plain guesswork. The ancient Greek logicians, they laid the basis for AI by uh, identifying this distinction. It's really the most important distinction to make. Let me move this over a bit. But in terms of producing artifacts that appear to incorporate human intelligence, to quote the definition, that didn't happen in Aristotle's age, uh, but it happened soon after.